I assume my heart will always be okay. I remember um, a few years ago now, I, I came into a meeting and I got really breathless. And I, I just had to get out and go and get some fresh air. And Dr. Matai came out and, you know, I went over to my house and, and I was feeling real odd. And he, he, being a good doctor, said, you better go to the vet and get checked out. Um, <laughs> you know, so I went up to Cambridge and um, they, um, you know, it, it was awkward, really. Um, I went to this place and, and they kind of cut a little nick in your thigh and, and stuck this tube all the way up into my heart and put dye there. Uh, and then the guy says to me, um, look, look on the screen, and there were four screens around. I could look in colour at my heart uh, and all the veins and arteries and stuff. And he looked at it, and to my relief, he said to me, you'll live to 95 with a heart like that. He said, it's so, your arteries are clear, everything's clear, it, you're in fantastic condition. Do you know, from feeling like I was ready to die, I felt a million dollars. <laughs> your heart is hidden. And there's a lot of hidden things that happen in the body of Christ that make the whole thing healthy. A and the liver, the kidneys, everything's healthy. And what we don't understand is you need that which every joint supplies. You can't do without the hidden things. Uh, it's all right to have a pianist who can play um, brilliantly. It's all right to have a choir leader who can conduct well. It's all right. But, you know, there's each member of the choir. When the angels adjusted the voice, it's perfect. Uh, and, but each member needs to be there. When you've got um, people working around doing the building, it, it's so important they function. The thing you notice is when the heating goes off, everyone suffers. Uh, or when the lights go out. Or when um, the sound system, which is, you know, they tell me that the sound system has the most demons in it of any place in the church but if it goes wrong everyone suffers in 1 Corinthians 12 27 we have apostles prophets teachers and helps now the most important part are the helps you need people who help <laughs> without the helps I remember the man who led me to the Lord was a man called Dima Shikarian. Now he was the founder of the Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship International. Dear brother, multi-millionaire, Texas farmer, escaped from Armenia with his family uh, before the Turks came in and slaughtered the whole, whole town they were in. Um, God warned them to go to America. And um, dear old Demas... He, he was absolute salt of the earth guy, Demas and Rose, and he, he would call himself a help. He wasn't a preacher, he wasn't an apostle, he wasn't a prophet, he just called himself a help. But it was through him the whole of the charismatic move came to Britain in 1965. And he was just... And, you know, he, he was a multimillionaire, but he built his house and then all the workers' houses on his ranch, everyone had the same. He lived the same. He wasn't pretentious at all. 95% of his income went into the work of God. He lived on 5%. And, and his whole life was given over. And, and he'd call himself a help. But what a help he was to millions of people around the world who found Christ because of him. Uh, a man of God. Now ministers have different roles. 
uh, and they're not in competition with each other. The one thing I could never understand is ministers who all want to get up and vie for position or vie for this or vie for that. Um, to me, that's just silly. Do what God's called you to do and be what God's called you to be. Hey, we're not in competition with each other. Uh, only selfish ambition makes a man compete. And we should actually have the life of Christ, not selfish ambition. If you're in a mess, it's because that's what you want to be. The word is a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path. Now that means what God speaks to me, not the Bible. He is the word. Uh, the entrance of thy word giveth light. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there's no light in them. If people speak differently than Christ, it's because they haven't got any light. Because he is the light. Uh, and so many people you know, think it's a Bible text. A Bible text won't help you. It's the person who speaks Christ alone. He is the living word. And that's with whom we have to do. Um, in 1 Corinthians 12, 27, now you are the body of Christ and members in particular. Never forget who you are. It is only as you accept your part of that body that your part means anything. Uh, I, I find people always want to be what they're not. Why? Why is it people strive to do what God's never called them to do, instead of fulfilling the function they'd easily fit in, because that's who they are. Why do they want to be something else? And in life, the world's spirit is always people trying to be what they're not. Relax, just be who you are. You don't have to assert yourself. Just be. God has said in the church, the word set is used in Genesis 7. You know, he said, I set my bow in the heavens, firmly established according to my covenant. God set you in this church, a member in particular. You've got a unique part to play. And, and you know, the unique part you can play is just be yourself. For goodness sake, uh, stop standing on your blinking dignity. You know, and, and trying to be, just be who you are. You'll make everyone around you happy and you'll be happy. But while you try and be something else, you'll be a misery and you'll make everyone else miserable. Uh, I find the, the trouble with the charismatic and Pentecostal church is, is people all think they've got a ministry. Because they speak in tongues, they think they should be something. And they want to get on with life. Uh, I just find it nice to get on with life. You know, we've got a wonderful school. Thank God for all the teachers. But they need to be part of it. We, we've got a wonderful choir. Thank God for the choir. Um, but when you get someone who wants to be more than what they really are, they're going to crash sooner or later. Selfish ambition. And if there's one thing that you could take from today, watch out for self.